Alrighty guys, well, this, I'm going to take a, another little cruise. Sometimes she does that. May not be so willing. All right. Uh, you'll probably remember over here from one of the earlier videos. We're gonna go to 50% on the heated grips just for the front of it. It's always nice over here. It's always a nice, uh, nice view. Beautiful area. And you can come over here and kind of just cruise it out without much issue which is always nice there's a road over here that I took once you, uh, you gotta make a right off of it and then it's not a curvy road or anything by any means it's pretty straight but I just thought it was a nice road to ride down so I'm gonna see if I can find it I'm gonna see if I can find that road. Yeah, the speed limit is 45, which I'm doing 47, and that's not good enough for him, so. Go on there, sucker! <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can find that road. Then we can take a little stroll down it. You know, every now and again, people are in such a rush, and then they realize, that no matter what, we all got to reach that end point, same point in time. So, what are you going to do, right? Not much. So, this area over here is Rock Tavern. Uh, when we first moved up here, my dad had a house over in the town of Newburgh. But um, when I first moved up here, it was with me and my girlfriend. We first moved up here. We rented an apartment up here. And it was over here in Rock Tavern, New York. Nice area. Um, pretty straight run for me to get down to the city not too bad at all very woodsy because you have uh, Stewart National Stewart State Forest over here so it's very woodsy if you want to use that as a word what kind of car is this oh no that's not for sale is this in his yard I wouldn't want no Kia anyway Kias and Hondas I'm done with them anyway so we started off renting and uh, we rented the top half of a house, which is really nice. Um, it was cool. Uh, at that time, my second daughter wasn't born. My first daughter was just, she was just born, just recently born. Um, and uh, actually, where was it? Uh, it was uh, right down this road here. Right there, huh? right down there. Yeah. At that time, my uh, first daughter was born. My second daughter was, we, we actually my wife had just gotten pregnant with my second daughter at that point in time. So we lived there for about two years. You know, the rent wasn't bad. It was probably like, mm, I want to say 700 for two bedrooms, 700 bucks. Man, that was actually very good. <laughs> Well, most people are probably looking at the screen right now. They're like, man, you paid 700 bucks for... It was a three-bedroom. It was a three-bedroom top half of a house. Um, and they're like, man, you paid 700 bucks? That's it? I was like, yeah, man, 700 bucks, man. This was about... This was about 2011, somewhere around there. Around 2010, 2011, my first daughter was already born. And she was about one. And, uh, yeah, so... That's not it. So, uh, we got in there 
And we lived there for a while. It was, it was nice. It wasn't bad. And then uh, when my second daughter was pretty much almost about to be born, that's when we started looking for a house and went through and did the closing and you know all of that good stuff and got that all set up and good to go and um which was nice you know and we got into the house and you know we had to buy furniture and all of this stuff i had to paint i should have changed the carpets it was a really new experience for me um purchasing a house but at the same time it was very stressful man i tell you i was i was broke <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd only been working the job where I was at for five years, so I just... Wait, is this the turn? Beetle, beetle lane. Oh, shit. I don't know if that was it. That might have been it. What was it? Man, I don't know. It might be this one. It might be this one up here. I know it's one of these here. It's the uh let's see anyway so we had just got into the house you know so there was a lot that we needed to do and we needed to adjust to and it just it just took a while you know it, it just but but it was nice you know it was something different and I feel it kind of, I, I feel, yeah, it did, it did kind of take us out of our comfort zone because, you know, we were, we were uh, so used to renting and, you know, the, the, the cost of living was a little more, a little bit more affordable, I would say. So we, we weren't outputting as much money as we were now being as that, being as we, we now have a mortgage you know so now that we have the mortgage we were kind of putting out a little bit more money uh spending a little bit more money and you know so things were things were a little bit different but um all right let me see if this is the road here i'm not sure if it is but i'm gonna make this right and we're gonna see if this is it that this may be this may be a private road but i'm not sure All right, so let's see if this is, this is gonna be the road here. Not sure. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So you know, first time home buyers, and I mean, you know what? We always had to thank God that we were in the position to to make that make a purchase of a home. I mean, you know, making a purchase of a home is is really expensive. It's really, 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 really stressful. Because you're, you're, the reason why I say it's stressful is because you're doing so much hunting and searching and looking and just trying to find a place that fits you and uh, it, it's it's it, it's all you know you should be you really should be taking your time but I think a lot of times in the way a lot of people a lot of people kind of rush it you know and and that's probably the worst thing to do is worse to worse to worse yeah yeah don't worse it <laughs> but don't don't rush a home buying experience that's actually that's a pretty nice house right there not sure if i like the side and color but um it's pretty nice you know you don't really want to rush that experience you want it to kind of take your time and you know go around and look at places and as you look at places you will start to formulate thoughts and ideas and start to realize what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want and that's the and that's the beauty of it you know for me I believe that's the beauty of it so yeah definitely is not something that you should rush even down to like the financing you know the financing is another pain in the butt cheek you know, you got to go out there, you got to find the lowest rate, and then it's like, well, should I lock in the rate, or should I let the rate float, or should I see what's going to happen, and look at that roadkill. You know, there, there's just a lot to it, and there's a lot to figure out, and I don't think, 
a lot of times we take it into consideration as to just how stressful that whole decision is so yeah you know we went through a lot man we're, we're just trying to figure that out and nail it down and get it understood and figure out what it is that we need to do or would want to do but in the end in the end we did end up making a, a I think a good purchase you know of course the house is gonna need some updates it's gonna need some changes you know I, I feel like that's with any home you're gonna have to do that and you know you're gonna want to do that you're gonna want to make updates you're gonna want to make changes you know there's gonna be things that you want to change you know right around now this time of year when you're coming through these roads uh just changing subject just a little bit you kind of want to keep your eye out for gravel you know i've been noticing that there's a lot a lot of gravel out and just like odd places that you probably just would not expect gravel to be so really keep your eye out if you're out riding this time of year so anyhow but um yeah i think it's i think it was a really nice experience it was a good experience for us but at the same time as previously stated it was a stressful experience so i hope you guys are enjoying this ride the videos are going to be a little bit long why because this is the tail end of my season of riding and uh we're heading into our winters here in new york and ugh. <laughs> So, you know, we're heading into our winters. We're at the tail end of the season. Am I by my buddy's house here? Um, 